Time is free, but it's priceless. You can't own it, but you can use it. You can't keep it, but you can spend it. Once you've lost it, you can never get it back. Our lives are but specks of dust falling through the fingers of time. Like sands of the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. Wherever I go, I will always know Everything I need is right here with me It's time to let it all go, no matter who knows Anything about me now I'm ready to see what love's got for me I got one thing left to say This week we go to Lone Rock in southern Utah to camp on the beach Camping on the beach at Lone Rock and Lake Powell is a dream that I have had since long before we bought our rig. I saw some pictures of a group of truck campers just like ours lined up with mountainous desert terrain in the background and the dream was born. So cheers to dreams becoming a reality. We just arrived at Lake Powell. We're trying to see if we can get a campsite here. It's supposed to be a hot one this week, so we're hoping being on the water is gonna help a little bit with that. So we just showed up to Lone Rock Campground, and this place is really cool. We're staying here uh, for a week through the 4th of July, and we just pulled up, and there is a Tesla stuck in the sand. So we're gonna go pull them out. <laughs> Like bottom is stuck now. We saved another one. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What do you want to do today, Pinky? Try to change the world. Sweet! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I thought I was the brain. Oh, you are the brain. I'm you the got me. one. That's true. That's true. Hello, my friends. Here we are in Lake Powell. We're camped right on the lake. Uh, we found this little spot called the Lone Rock Beach. There's quite a bit of beach down here and there's a ton of people parked down on the other end over there so we came down to this end where there's a cliff side we can still make it down to the water uh, you just got to be a little careful and we're all alone out here we got the whole place to ourselves I dig that it's a beautiful day today we are right on the border of Arizona and Utah I mean right there we go to the grocery store and we change time zones it's a hot one today. It's supposed to be 102 degrees, so we're gonna be spending a lot of time in the water, but we'll take you guys with us. Let's have some fun. Page is a neat little town, though. They've got everything we need. It's not a big town, just a little small town. Page is surrounded by national monuments and incredible places to go visit. Let me see if I can list them all. The famous horseshoe of the Colorado River. There's Lone Rock, Lake Powell, of course, Antelope Canyon. North Rim of the Grand Canyon. I'm not sure what we're gonna do today. It's probably gonna involve some paddleboard. We got our camper all set up. We took it off the truck. We put our mat out. We got our awning out. We are set up. Jacqueline's making breakfast right now. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Sure. It's breakfast time. What's in my coffee? Oh, gross. Lots of dirt bikers over here. They're having fun. Thank you, dear. Everything's melting here. It's friggin' hot. It's oh. like nine o'clock in the morning and it's already, what, 200 degrees? Probably running around 250. 
This doesn't need a hot sauce. This is so good. I didn't think it did, but. Mmm. You never know. Mmm. So let me introduce you to camping on the beach at Lake Powell. So there's a place out here called Lone Rock, and it, there's also a place called Lone Rock Beach. That's where we are. You can camp out here. It's part of the national park. It's $14 a night, and you can stay for a maximum of 14 days in a row. We're not going to stay that long because we got other places to see. But I could see how this would be a place people wouldn't want to stay for 14 days. It's absolutely incredible. There's a full dump and water fill station up at the main entrance. This is a very much a OHV friendly place. So everybody's got their dirt bikes and their quads and their side-by-sides out here and they're ripping through the sand dunes, having a blast. If you look right over there, you can see all the tire tracks from everybody just ripping up the hills and having fun. Gets a little noisy sometimes, but it is 4th of July weekend, so that's to be expected. And the amazing part is, it is 4th of July weekend, and look at how empty this place is. Today's Friday. 4th of July is on Sunday. It's a nice spot, and there is a pretty light breeze most of the day, which makes it bearable if you've jumped in the water. It's pretty warm at night, though. But, yeah, it's nice, and nobody's too close by. They quiet down. What about like 11 o'clock at night and start up about 7, so it's not too terrible. Their off-road vehicles and their dirt bikes and things. Jet skis. Trixie likes it. There it is, guys. Lone Rock in the middle of Lake Powell. It's a little island, and it's all by itself. What's going on, guys? We're out here at Lone Rock having a blast. This place is really, really hot. It's about 102 degrees today, but we got a nice lake to pool off in and we got our paddle boards. We're pulling around on those, just checking stuff out. There's so much to explore in this area. We might have to come back when it's cooler. It's, uh, I, I feel like we could spend a month here and not see everything. Yep, a lot of cool places very close by and camping is nice and cheap and right on the water. Took a quick picnic lunch and now we're gonna go down a kayak trail. When Lake Powell is completely full, there's over 2,000 miles of shoreline. Right now, it's very, very low. We were trying to go over to a paddleboarding trail over here, and it just looks like desert. There's the water just stops, and then you don't see water anywhere beyond that. There's no shade out here, and we've been putting sunscreen on like every 15 minutes, and we still feel like we're getting burned. And we landed on this beach over here, and I noticed they got some of this black clay in the water, so I'm gonna cover my legs in that right now because they're burning and the sunscreen is not working. I've put it on at least six times in the last hour. And I don't want to be burned. Nick might use the shaving cream method, but I'm going to try and avoid that. Full of this, like, I don't know if it's just dark clay or tar. It's probably really gross. It's really sticky. I know it'll keep me from burning. If you let it dry, it stays on in the water pretty well, too. I'm hoping I'll have, like, beautifully soft skin after this and not mercury poisoning. A lot of mercury in this lake, apparently. It's just my thighs and the front of my legs from being on the paddleboard that are burning. I'm not putting it on my face or anything. Maybe my arms. My arms are burning a little. I'll let that dry on like a paint. Be like a little piggy in the mud. Smart little piggies. Trixie does this too. She coats herself in dirt. 
Oh, I missed a butt. So my elephant legs are dry. The mud worked to feel a lot cooler. I don't feel the sun on my skin or my arms at all. So my legs and arms are cool, but my body's really hot. This is not blocking out the heat, it's dried. Even though it's white, I keep wanting to go dunk it, but I don't want to wash off my mud. So I'm just kind of scraping off my arms so I can take my shirt off and get it wet and leave my legs with the mud on it because it's, it's working great. Isn't it nature's sunscreen on? So if you ever find yourself without sunscreen in the middle of nowhere, see if there's clay in the local lake, rub it on your skin. It is way too hot out here. I'm starting to regret staying here. Way too hot. The only way we're surviving this heat was with the air conditioner. And, uh, the, yeah, we got some smoothies to cool down. And, oh man, it's, it's just way too hot. So, we're gonna suffer through it, try to make the best of it. It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, then on the 5th, man, we're out of here. We're gonna go someplace cool. This is ridiculous. So this right here is why I wanna get solar panels and get rid of this stupid generator. The view is absolutely incredible. But we gotta charge our batteries up. There's only one way to do that at Lake Powell. Unless you have hookups, you gotta run your generator or charge on solar. It'd be really nice to have peace and quiet right now while I'm looking out at this incredible view. Solar does cost more, but in my opinion, that view and the silence is worth the extra money. That's why we have a vacuum. <laughs> so sandy here. It's not even sand, it's like dust. It's like silk. The dog's tracking it in, Nick's tracking it in, I'm tracking it in. It just really clings to your feet. What you doing? All right, so my new friend Johnny pulled in a couple hours ago and he was checking out his rig and uh, turns out he blew a CV joint. That's bad news bears, man. Oh, yuck. Lucky for him, he was smart enough to bring a spare. He's gonna tear it apart and fix it. I think I have the part. I'm, I'm really impressed. So unfortunately, Johnny needs a inch and three eighths socket to get his CV shaft out of his uh, axle and nobody around here has one so uh, the auto parts store literally just closed like five minutes ago and it's the 3rd of July and tomorrow is Sunday the 4th of July chances are pretty low that somebody's gonna be open tomorrow so he might be stuck here for a little while but I'll help them wherever I can. See what happens, stay tuned. You are the man. What was your name? Scott. Scott, was Scott. Yeah, my buddy, yeah. I'm lucky I got that box in there. You're just camping right out here? Yeah, that's my bus up there. Find me useful! We got muscles over here, man. <laughs> Uh-oh. We've been watching you guys just do work that we're not capable of doing for the last three hours. Now it's about time we can be useful. Hold it like right there. Sorry. Yeah, you might want to hold it right down on the tire. Put your back and do it, man. Oh. 
Oh, hey, there you go. That'll work. Oh, there's that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you asked for muscles. Hey, man, you, you're doing a great job. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Muscles for the win. Yeah. <laughs> muscles. Way to go, guys. And leverage. All right, baby. Yes. That looks beautiful. A person's most useful asset is not a head full of knowledge, but a heart full of love, an ear ready to listen, and a hand willing to help others. Thanks to a bunch of helpful people, Johnny was able to fix his truck in just a few hours. Just wanted to share this moment with you guys. Uh, we're out here on Lake Powell on 4th of July, and we're parked right on top of this cliff. We climbed down here, and this is kind of like our own little spot that we found. We got our boom box and our music, and we're just kind of out here being a family, enjoying ourselves, enjoying the view. So we sure are thankful for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy the view as well. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I have sand in my mouth. There's so much sand everywhere. <laughs> There's so much sand. And you have this little lone rock over here all by itself. Mm -hmm. Our favorite place is always right here and the weather is always just right. Except we were hungry inside in our AC, making our own weather. Come on guys. <laughs> My Trixie dog. He's so pretty like an otter. Yes. My girls. Family bath time. <laughs> <laughs> Not a wind spoon. I'm gonna get out before the sandstorm hits again. I'm coated in sand Yeah, I've been doing nothing but helping people this whole time. You know what? I love doing that. It makes me happy. I like helping people. Do you see the sand? Yeah. This is the sandstorm that we've been experiencing here. So you're going across there like a desert? <laughs> yeah. So much sand. <laughs> it's really yeah. Gritty. Like, yeah. It's in everything, but it doesn't feel like beach sand. Mm -hmm. It's tolerable for a short time. <laughs> well, it's in your eyes. Totally. You, know? you can feel it's there, but it's not super painful. Yeah. As long as you can cry. Cry it, guys. Send it! Dude, he's going for it. He's gonna launch, man. Woo! <laughs> yeah! What a legend. No, I'm not. I promise I'm not. How about it, man? Use the whole can. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is great. <laughs> you guys are putting on Jim Green. There's Lone Rock behind you with fireworks. I can't make this up. <laughs> You will thank me in the morning. You 
bet. Right. <laughs> you bet. You guys are the best. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go up this hill and get pulled. And you've got a spare tire on? We got, we got a donut spare tire. tire. We got this thing right. We're gonna hill. make this happen. You guys are gonna pull us up that hill, yeah? Determined ladies with a brand new puppy. With a brand, brand new, new puppy. puppy. Oh my god. Perfect. Trixie. Trixie approved. You need that smiley face. You're so cute. He's just trying to get some shade, huh? You're hot. You're hot. Yeah. We are so this over. strap okay. uh, was borrowed by somebody else in camp earlier today, last night actually. So you guys were stuck. <laughs> it towed out roughly seven or eight people from him. I've towed out five or six people from this strap. This strap was given to me for free by the guy that we met in South Padre Island. If you're watching this, thank you. A lot of people have been helped out by this act of guidance. Now look at it. Yeah. <laughs> it's had some wear. This was brand new. Whoa. <laughs> like, what, six months ago? I'm gonna teach you a very valuable lesson that I learned early on. Uh, this ball hitch right here is designed to break away at a certain tension and it becomes a projectile when you have a strap on it like that. That's a big no-no. What you want to do, in fact, you're, you have the right idea here, but you want to go behind your crossbar and back over the ball. Now that is a solid connection. And then on this side, we're gonna use a D-ring shaft. You always want to have a really good toe point. So these little, Eyelets are wonderful. Otherwise, you can severely damage a vehicle if you hook on the wrong spot. Hang on, girls. Hang on. Kindness is one of the greatest gifts you can bestow upon another. If someone is in need, lend them a helping hand. You got it. No way! Do not wait for a thank you. True kindness lies within the act of giving, without the expectation of something in return. We've been here five days. Amazing, we finally got a break from the YouTube channel a little bit. We've got to have some fun pulling people out of the sand all day long. We've packed up, it's time to leave. We're looking for cooler weather. It's been over 100 here all week, and we're over it. The lake's nice, but it's not enough. The running our air conditioner all day is just insane, so we're gonna go up to the mountains. We're probably heading into Colorado. All right, so the process here, because the sand is so deep, we take air down to 15 psi. We're actually gonna have to go up above, take the camper off drop it, he's gonna have to go into town, refill his tires, and then we're gonna have to reload the camper. It's a bit of a hassle, but it's well worth it. We can't drive on the road with the tires that low and not much weight on there. Do everything with a good heart and expect nothing in return, and you will never be disappointed. Today will never come again. Be a blessing, be a friend, encourage somebody. Take the time to care. Driver's door. I'll tell you what character is going up. He got stuck in the entryway. Right now? With a car, with a boat attached to it. Oh, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to get out of here? Assistant? <laughs> yeah, they're spinning. She's moving, keep going. Over that hill, she got it. Go, 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 hard. Upon our exit, we had to stop to save one last family from the depths of the sand. Unfortunately, they didn't have a tow point. But there's always multiple ways to solve a problem. Go! go. Yes! Yes! Go! 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 That. Pull 10 people out, get one free air compressor! Woo! <laughs> I say so. At the end of the day, it's not about what you have, or even about what you've accomplished. It's about who you've lifted up, and who you've made better. It's about what you've given back. Guys, 
enjoyed this episode, don't be afraid to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and ring the bell for us. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye. Come with the sun. We take a bath together. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs>